The question of Christian mission in the world is complex. On the one hand, people all over the world genuinely love the message of Jesus and look to him as a source of hope. On the other hand, it can seem that historical Christianity has done more harm than good when introducing itself to certain parts of the world. With that in mind, we hope that this video can lend some helpful perspective to the nature of the church's mission today. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. After World War II, there lived a young man in Okinawa, Japan, whose family had survived great hardships and struggle during the war. While pursuing his education, he noticed many Christian missionaries arriving in Okinawa because of the American presence from the war. One day, missionaries came to his school seeking local Okinawans who could work as translators. The young man offered to help. While the missionaries preached in English, he spoke the messages to the people of Okinawa in Japanese. Not only did he help convert others to Christianity through his translating, he also converted himself. He became a follower of Jesus, got baptized, and decided to become a pastor he had opened up a new chapter in the history of his people, helping to spread the gospel of the kingdom to the whole world and to all nations. Jesus told his disciples to watch for the gradual revealing of the kingdom of God as one of the signs of his soon return. The message of the kingdom of God would be preached to the whole world and then the end would come. Christians hope that when the whole world has had a chance to choose whether or not to stand with Jesus, he will return to restore all things, bring justice, and bring an end to evil. But we still have a long way to go to reach this goal. According to Global Frontier Missions, approximately 3.15 billion people live in areas with limited access or no access to the gospel of Jesus. There are also people who have heard about Jesus, but have heard about him in a way that makes him seem unattractive or even harmful. In some parts of the world, the way that Christianity was introduced has been destructive and careless. There are still many places to reach, and some places that have been reached need to be reached again. Even the Western world, largely considered Christian in its cultural origin, has lost touch with the gospel and grown wary of the followers of Jesus. The whole world needs to see Jesus again, in a new light, Jesus is calling us to be culturally educated and sensitive, just like that young man in Okinawa, to express our faith in Jesus through our own cultural lens to reach the people around us and the world. The message of Jesus isn't just about saving individuals. It's about changing the world through the power of Jesus and the Spirit, revealing his character and the kingdom of God. Jesus is waiting patiently not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And then the end will come. Jesus will return. What can you do to share the kingdom of God with the people around you today?